The way that the Dragon Ball Super series started, it started with Beerus. It started from Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. And later on, that got turned into a series that was Dragon Ball Super. Beerus' main focus was to find the Super Saiyan God, which he did, but it was not the original Super Saiyan God. For a fact, without a doubt, Goku did shock Beerus here and there. But as you guys have all seen, Goku Super Saiyan God did not challenge Beerus' power that much. And guys, now the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie is slowly approaching us. It's almost here. Now, fans all over the world pretty much knew that Beerus and Whis would be in this movie. But they couldn't be 100% sure. Now guys, with promotional materials that was released for this movie, we found out that Beerus and Whis would 100% be in this movie. And that is confirmed. We even seen them in the movie trailer guys. Now I'm pretty sure that Beerus would actually be really interested in Broly because of his immense crazy power and possibly Beerus could even think of Broly as a Super Saiyan God that was in his dreams. Now guys what if something that happened in the Dragon Ball Super series happens right now in this Dragon Ball Super movie. Now guys power wise if you want to take down Broly I only see two ways. Number one Ultra Instinct. Number two Fusion. Now guys this might not come true but what if this actually happens in this movie. Now as we have all seen in the trailer guys that is Goku Super Saiyan Blue was having a very hard time against Broly. Yes Broly was using a more powered up base form but the thing was guys with that powered up base form he was able to do so much damage to a post terminal power Goku Super Saiyan Blue. Now that is scary. And guys at the end of the trailer we seen Goku Super Saiyan Blue saying he's getting even stronger as Broly transforms. So let's just say after Broly transforms he beats down Super Saiyan Blue Goku like nothing before. Just like in the terminal power but this time even worse he gives goku a near-death experience and with that once again goku is able to break out of his shell and then unlock the mastery of self movement known as ultra instinct now guys after observing the previous broly movies which was non-canon and toriyama himself even said that he will change broly but he will not change broly too much at a point where the fans don't even like him he will still keep the old broly style and guys in my opinion broly is a victim broly has no choice but to fight guys we even seen that in the previous non-canon movie but guys we also seen that in the dragon ball super broly trailer now broly only attacked goku and vegeta after paragus gave his command and that was do it broly now we all know for a fact how powerful broly really is and his sadistic crazy behavior makes him even more dangerous now guys in my personal opinion the only way to actually stop broly or even slow him down that is to kill him now if goku and vegeta don't actually kill him then he will just keep coming back for more and more because broly is crazy he will not stop until he sees blood so let's just say that goku and vegeta do find a way to actually kill broly either by fusing or even using ultra instinct so let's say that they do kill broly but guys now something else happens from a far distance Beerus has seen the entire fight and he got very interested in broly and he also wanted to fight broly as well to test his power and mainly he thinks to himself that broly could possibly be the super saiyan god but now that broly is dead Beerus cannot fight him but now there is only one way that Beerus can actually fight broly and that is something that happened in the terminal power which is when Whis resurrected Frieza with the order from none other than Beerus himself. Now guys, once again, Beerus orders Whis to actually revive Broly. Then Whis asks Beerus that, are you sure about this? Then Beerus says, do it. And after that, Whis has no other option but to revive Broly. And after Whis revived Broly, but this time guys, Broly came back much, much stronger. And Frieza is also there. Frieza is watching everything. And with a very shocked face and very scared, Frieza says, what have you done? And anyways guys, that is about all I have for you guys today, so do let me know what you guys think about this. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this guys, then be sure to subscribe. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching, and have a blessed day everyone.